So capture the opportunity. But before we capture it, we've got to go back to basics. Um, uh, we've got to have a plan. I love Yogi Berra's little comment here. If you don't know where you are going to uh, go, and you're lucky to you end up somewhere else. And we've all been there in our different treatment plans, for sure. And uh, communication, crucial uh, to communicate properly to the patient, but certainly to the laboratory. Uh, we have to develop a good partnership with the laboratory. Uh, otherwise, we are we will just uh, successful will elude us. So uh, we're, we're going to discuss a lot of that in our in our uh, presentation. I'm going to I'm going to highlight from these different four er areas uh, the what I think through the years of trial and error and teaching and whatever the the highlights of areas that we tend to um, get off base on and cause challenges to us. We have um, uh, uh, maxillary impressions, mandibular impressions. We're going to these are different animals, and we treat them totally different. And uh, you know the retention for a maxillary denture is so different than a man mandibular denture. <clears throat> for a maxillary denture, we depend on uh, forces of adhesion, cohesion, uh, peripheral seal. In other words, we we depend on the upper denture to kind of uh, have suction and to, and to seal itself into place. The mandibular denture, because there's a an obstacle here called the tongue, um, we really have to. Um, um, really work on the peripheral extensions, understand the physiology, um, make sure we don't have overextensions. Uh, we got to you know, understand where teeth should be properly positioned over the ridge because that could be a very destabilizing factor to the lower denture. 